Mary Ganza, the gospel musician, has released an album. More updates right here on Let's Talk Entertainment. I'm Doreen. Do stay with me. Well, if you just joined me, this is Let's Talk Entertainment. And yes, as we mentioned earlier, now as part of the upcoming concert for SP Kofi Sapon, dubbed SP Kofi Sapon live concert, he paid a courtesy call on former President Jerry John Rollins along with his management media Excel. Well, it happened today and our cameras were there. Of course, you know how it is after talking. It was just okay that Papa J just said, yes, he will be there to support for the event. Our cameras were there and this is what we have for you guys. No, we have a lot of coaches in, in, in our country here. So we decided to go to the water region and pick the Bobobo, which uh, became um, a household uh, music uh, in Ghana here and beyond. And so um, now, but we decided to go to other regions to pick the coaches to record. Well, because uh, we were so successful with the first one, we couldn't go, we couldn't, uh, go to another region. We had to record another one, Bobo Bo again, and that one too has been successful. Now the vision is that we want to um, help um, uh, little children in this place with all, with, with all respect, those who are from poor family, to record um, register for the NHIS. So we have this, they decided to host a concert um, on the 28th of this month. And so we deem it fit that with all your admonitions and advice you have given us over the years, our one has to take Ghana as his own. And the nation building is a collective interest. So we have decided to come and plead to your excellency that if time will permit on the 28th, we will want to have you present at uh, the National Theatre to grace the occasion for us. Your excellency, this is our mission. Yes. Thank you. There are many, many disadvantaged people in our society who need assistance, okay? I hope I'll be free enough to attend this function, but I'd certainly like to encourage as many people as possible to be there, okay? All right, so today we are talking entertainment at the former president's house. That's President Jerry John Rollins. And today we have SP Kofi Sapon. He actually led us all here today, and he came to pay a courtesy call on him. Hi, and welcome to Let's Talk Entertainment. Thank you. <laughs> so, I mean, how does it feel coming to invite someone to an event like him, like our former president, and him assuring you that he is going to be part of it? I'm humbled, and it's been a great and a privilege to meet a great man. Uh, like the former president Jerry John Rawlings and the the uh, admonishment, uh, the advice, and the pattern uh, of what he spoke into uh, our vision and the mission of coming here uh, is, is tremendous and I'm so grateful to him that he's also imbibed into what we have thought of doing here. So it's an honor. Okay. Now you talked about, I mean, registering about 5,000 children onto the NHIS. Initially we thought about just children, but today we're hearing that you're looking forward to also add the mothers to it as well. How are you going to do this? I know the concert is there, but um, do you see that something really... It's going to be tough, you know that. It's really going to be tough, but we must face the challenge. If you just start the journey, you can't finish it. And so no matter how the hurdles and the difficulties have been, we will still have to do it. And I know that God will help us uh, achieve our aims and objectives. We will get there. You see, we, I, we, I, I talk about sponsorship and all that. 
is not coming, but yet we will gather the little that we have to do it. We pray that Ghanaians will, will, will also um, come uh, into the program. They should put themselves into what we are doing and then come on Sunday, 6th, uh, 28th at National Theatre. Then uh, it to the glory of God and, and, and to uh, do what we have decided to do. You know, um, it, it's a passion. I, I, I can't let it go. Now, looking at all of this, is this the only place you're going to be? Because we also have other former presidents. So, are you looking forward to go there and invite them as well? Yeah, really, we will go to all, all of them. We will want every, uh, all of them to be present. Because, and as I said, it's a nation building. And these are the ones that we take inspiration from them. The advice and their admonishment go far, 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 far. So we want all of them to be present. Even if it, it hasn't, or it will not be the uh, uh, busy schedule of Nana uh, uh, Kufa to His Excellency, the President of the Republic, we will wish he also comes around. And so we'll go go to all of them and then seek uh, their presence on 28th. Okay, now before I let you wrap up, how are preparations so far? You are moving from one place to the other and how is your management also handling things towards the main event on the 28th of May? Well, we're running around. Uh, we're doing what, what we can. We ask for more strength. So, um, preparation, um, um, rehearsals, uh, that, that's, that's ecstasy, you know, in the moment over and over again and so it's well it's well thank you so much i mean this is the first time i'm interviewing you in your uniform you look good in it thank you <laughs> i appreciate it thank you all right thank you so much thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> his second nomination at the BET Awards. The nomination for the 2017 edition were announced on Monday. After winning the award at the 2015 edition, Stormboy expressed worry that Ghana received only a nomination in this year's award, while Nigeria and South Africa have four and three nominations respectively. The Go Higher hit singer will be competing with Whiskey from Nigeria, Davido from Nigeria, Techno from Nigeria, Nigeria, aka from South Africa, Nasty C from South Africa, Mr. Easy from Nigeria, and Bababes Wodomo from South Africa for the award this year. Reacting to the list in a post on Instagram shortly after the nominees were announced, he said the nomination is for all Ghanaians. Quoting him, Thanks for the love. This is for Ghana and not just Big Nation. Born Living Stone, said the class. Stoneboy wondered what was happening to Ghana. He blamed the incessant pull him down syndrome for the dwindling fortunes of Ghanaian artists. Quoting him, he said, South Africa is getting about three nominations. Nigeria is getting about three nominations. What is happening to Ghana? Let us support our own and stop the division. Stop the destroy to win tactics. Stop pitching heads against each other. And let us all represent for Mother Ghana, he said. All right, so that's it for the BET, but of course we have reactions from both parties that stone boy and shatawale but for stone boy people are happy and uh, well the the kind of um, uh, laughing at shatawale in a bit with most of them thinking that shatawale should have also been nominated with all of the stone boy is actually calling for unity because he believes that his nomination is for everybody in gh but shatawale on the other hand says that he can't even find his bec certificate let alone think about bet well, it's directed to, I guess, Ghanaians, but those were their reactions. Hey, Sergeant Lee. 
Shatawale's arch rival, Stone Boy, received his second nomination at the BT Awards after the nominees for the 2017 edition were announced on Monday. Shortly after the nominees were announced, several persons took to social media platforms to troll Shatawale for missing out on the awards again this year. But the taking over, his singer is not worried about missing out. In a series of posts on Twitter and Facebook, he urges fans not to be upset about the development. He said, and I quote, I don't want any fan of mine to feel bad about any BT. My skin is too strong now for such issues, he said. Born Charles Niyama Mensa Jr., the dancehall act added, and I quote, My BEC certificate says I don't know where he day. Then we they come worry about BET. Hashtag money they call me for my brain. Unquote. 2017 BET Awards will be held on June 25, 2017, at the Microsoft Theatre in Los Angeles. <laughs> All right, so there you go for the BET nomination. So congratulations to Stone Boy and the BIM Nation as well. And uh, let's just leave it right there. But away from that, gospel musician Mary Ganza is out with a new album and she talks more on the album with my colleague Becky. Doing music. If you go to you, uh, YouTube today, you find my 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 new um, album. At least I've done one video. Asafu Yehoa. You'll find it soon to be released. I'm still doing music. I don't know whether I can ever stop singing. Wow. I said whether my songs are being played or not. I'm gonna write songs. I'm going to record songs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we we really haven't heard about the album. Can you tell me about it? How many songs are on the album? And and and, and what else? The album contains nine, but it's more than nine because we've got praise medley which is five in one so it's more worship medley yeah. uh, the album is full of praise and worship praise and worship all focusing on God and not my problems because I know uh, if I make him bigger my problems become lesser yeah, yeah. won't you many na ye ma ye and I see so I Na ye besomo wo o ma won saswa na ni ama ye di wo ju meni na yi wa ye this very old old God bless you. So 1982. Much. Long God time ago. You are not born at that time. Yeah. Moving on to some international stories. A scientist has been crowned Miss USA 2017. And yes, the event has already happened. And here are highlights of the event. USA 2017 is. District of Columbia! 25-year-old Cara McCullough is 2017's Miss USA. Cara is a scientist and says her plan is to inspire children and women to go into the science fields after her big win. Cara takes over duties from Deshauna Barber, 2016's Miss USA, and a fellow Miss District of Columbia. One of the stories and one of the things we took away from your win was you can be smart, pretty, and all those things and still be Miss USA and still keep your femininity, but be a badass and be a, yes. you know, be, uh, be a member of our military and all of those great things. What's the thing you learned most about yourself over this past year? I really learned that I'm, I'm representing such a huge sense of diversity for women. Um, and it's just diversity in what you do, being that modern day woman that is just able to tackle so many things at once, but still not lose that femininity, mm -hmm. still not lose that womanhood just because you have a, just because you're carrying a rucksack and a weapon. <laughs> so, you know, I, I think that that's one of the great things about being Miss USA and being able to represent the military and pageantry. Mm -hmm. It just so, it shows that women are versatile. But this is where we draw down the curtains on today's edition of Let's Talk Entertainment. Yes, I did enjoy myself and congratulations.
Mr. Stoneboy. Of course, SP Kofi Sapon, we're looking forward to the concert as well. But I can't wrap up without saying a very big thank you to the 247 Boutique that gave me this beautiful outfit. They are located at North Kaneshi. They also gave me this as well. So you can always get them at North Kaneshi. But let me say a very big thank you to the production team, Ike and Becky. And of course, for more of our trending entertainment stories, you can always log on to myjoyonline.com, get the videos, get the updates in your world of entertainment. I'm Doreen. Enjoy your evening.